What's going on dudes? It is Colossalus here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at the newest support addition to the Nexus, Oreo from Diablo, the Archangel of Hope, uh, who doesn't have mana, but she relies on her energy to heal her allies. I already tried recording this twice and the game went good, but my commentary was awful. So I'll try to improve that in this video. Uh, all you have to know about Ariel that when she went, when she uh, got, when she was released, when she was released out of the chambers of you know of Blizzard uh, to the public, she was really strong and competitive just because she doesn't rely on mana; she relies on her allies, which of course teamwork is what competitive is all about. Um, but in the quick match scenario, she was meh, she was okay, she was okay. But um, just because my uh, my task here is to give you the most comprehensive guide and the most comprehensive builds. Uh, I'm gonna give you both. I'm gonna give you the competitive and the one for kind of like a casual quick match scenario. So let's go. Let's do this. There is always hope. Also, one more thing I want to say is that I main support, so I'll be able to give you quite a lot of information about Aria. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Forehead Junction. <laughs> I just love that name, Forehead Junction. It's called Warhead Junction, but I call it Forehead Junction. And we're gonna get some of those artifacts main. It's the enemy team, Valley is gonna be righteous assault. Uh, right, so let's explain the, her trait first, which is called Bestow Hope. You give this to an ally and when they deal damage to an enemy, they will be, uh, they will be um, generating some energy for me. That's all you had to know. They're going to be dealing more, uh, more. They're going to be regenerating more energy when I'll be dealing, uh, when they'll be dealing uh, damage to, um, to enemy heroes. But they will also be deal, uh, giving me energy when they deal uh, damage to structures and minions, and also myself. When, when I deal damage to any, anything, I also give myself uh, some of that energy that I need for, for healing. You see, I have zero out of five hundred twenty-six at the moment. I'm gonna give this bestow whole crown to my uh, to my crown. You can see this has a very very big range. She can be uh, high. Oh baby, the stun! Oh baby, the stun! They do have a medic, and I think they're, th these guys are in the party as well. So it's gonna be pretty uh, tough uh, tough game to win. Uh, but regardless, we're gonna try to do our best. I did uh, on level one. I did go for we just cool down. Um, whenever we hit somebody with the inside of our Q, and our Q is just this damage, very very light damage, you know, and there we go, very very light damage in in this half circle area thing. It's just done. There's some damage, and I'll be explaining that uh, what actually does this done in a little bit. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so it does damage in this half circle and does double, uh, just about double damage. Um, in that little uh, like reverse triangle um, in front of us There we go, uh, I just used there my W ability which is called which is uh, just my healing it's called the ray of heaven and basically um, When I press that button I will spend all of my energy and heal for that amount in area So I can I can come up here heal both of us, you know in that little circle area around me right there very, very good. Very, very good for just keeping the whole team, not just one person alive. You see what I mean? Um, our e ability is called the Tame and Strike. Basically, when we hit somebody uh, with it, it's going to push them back, deal a little bit of damage. But... <sighs> oh, shit. I... Sorry. Uh, I just knocked her out of the um, out of her um, uh, out of the ability. I'm gonna try to stun the Vala, but I just missed. So again, the damage strike is gonna knock people back, deal uh, very light damage. But when I hit somebody into something that's that's impossible, um, like for example um, terrain, like for example terrain or something like that, um, or or building. Or anything like, like that, they are going to be taking uh, additional damage, and they're going to be stunned for 1.25 seconds, which is pretty huge. Pretty huge, if you ask me. Uh, 
And uh, we need some help in the bottom lane, so I'm gonna actually go down there and help our Falstead for a second. On the Severance, we're gonna go for Heavy Burden. Uh, this is gonna allow our E to also apply a slow after somebody has been stunned, so he will hit into something like that. I'm gonna try to keep, uh, clear some of that creep that this Zagara has been laying down. She has been laying punishment on, on this Falstead. I'm gonna give him the crown, heal him for a little bit. Fuck off. I was on the cooldown, bruh. God damn, I can't do anything about the zigzag. Ziggity zigzag Zagara. Unless she wants to stay here and die. <laughs> oh, dude, that was good. That was good. Sorry about that laugh. That was like some creepy ass laugh. But I just, I just feel very, very nice when people are too confident against Oreo who can deal actually deceptive amounts of damage when she hits all of her skill shots on, um, you know, when I hit somebody against, uh, you know, like a wall or something, and... Oh, let's, let me get both of those, actually. There we go. Clearing some of that creep, main, And that's it, that's all of her abilities. Um, on level 1 we picked up uh, Righteous Assault, which decreases, again, it decreases the cooldown, I've already said that, but it decreases the cooldown for every single enemy hit. Inside of that little triangle in front of us, you know, that, that actually that central area, you can say, of our ability. Um, and that, that was on level one, and th that's for every every uh, hero gives us two seconds uh, of, of a cooldown reduction, and then um, uh, up to four seconds. That's fine. You, bro, we just have to de get the fuck out. <laughs> like her damage strike is so so great against uh, just hard engage. Like for example, uh, Alaric there is. God damn it! Like she's so good against that. Oh, that whip rack almost fucked her up. All right, dude, I didn't heal you just because you moved, bro. You, you can't move out of, out of my stuff. Let's kill that guy, just focus him down very, very quickly. Dude, he's doing so much damage, it's like, it's like some forehead junction shit. I'm gonna actually kill that. Thank you. Dude, you are gonna get wrecked. I have no healing for you at all. This Agara is doing anything she wants because you're not dealing damage, bro. You have to deal damage for me to, to do anything. He tried. But he failed. I have no energy. You can see that, you know, if if my team is not doing a damage, I I'm not able to just generate any energy at the moment. Okay, we just try to heal for whatever we have, whatever I, energy I have. Anyway, level 4. I think I went for Detainment Strike. Detainment Strike. He actually dealt some energy, so I, I could actually heal him there. Um, Detainment Strike slows enemies after they get stunned on level 7. God damn, I still haven't picked my level 7 talent. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Energized Core. Just my basic attacks will be um, dealing a little bit more. Um... Oh, I saw so she's gonna collide with that terrain, man. Oh my god, man. Oh, you're taking a little bit more, too much damage. Sorry about that, bro. I need you guys. I need you guys' fucking help here. I'm gonna give that crown to Lunara, who will be able, to, who I think will be able to deal some damage, unlike, unlike this false head over there. Yeah, so we picked up Energized Cord, which just uh, allows my basic attacks to, ge to generate much more energy. Uh, it's gonna be 100% of the damage. I oh, fucking shit. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, I'm alive. Protect me. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fine. I can. Uh, I'm gonna go for Crystal Ages right there. So if this. Oh my God! This false dead fly though. What the? F oh my God! It died. The Q came out before the E, and I cannot knock her back. So uh, you know to to nullify her damage. Very nice uh, damage doing by our friendly Chromi. She's staying way back. So I think she's gonna be my main, my main, my main man for giving energy. Right, yeah, so again, team is now dealing only, only dealing energy, and not only not energy, but dealing damage. I mean, they're dealing energy to me just because they're generating the energy by dealing damage, right? Right, May. Yeah, a crystal ages. What it's gonna do is gonna close uh, a friendly target uh, and also myself. Like that will matter as death. Fuck. In a in a crystal. 
uh, for two seconds, you know, basically making them uh, invulnerable to damage or CC, but they also cannot move in that state, uh, which is pretty, uh, pretty unfortunate. But what, what can you do, right? It would be then too, too powerful. Um, again, we're not dealing any damage, so we won't be able to um, get any energy. I'm just gonna spend whatever I have. Damn, this false dive is so goddamn out of position. God damn, man. Yeah, it's gonna close them and then after two seconds it's gonna to explode, dealing damage in a large area. This false dead, no! This is just stupid, like, what is going on here? The guy right has been slain, uh, I need to be there for them to... Alright, there we go. Get some healing, kill that fucking Alarak, man. Yeah, man. I got you, got you, mate. Yeah, we got him. <clears throat> All right, yeah, yeah. So Crystal Age is very good for like you know against Pyro Blast, against anything that that basically deals damage, right? Can you? Like I'm playing with these people. Like last game, I, play, I played with like Grandmasters and Masters just because I saw their portraits, you know, from last season. And now I'm playing with these people. Who, this guy should have eat first to close her. Then kill her? Like, come on, man! You can tank this for us, I think. At least for a little bit, right? Alright, there we go. Our minion's coming in to block those shots. I'm gonna give this to... Actually, he's gonna be better on... On Chromie. So, I don't give it. I don't even give a shit. Oh, the stun, baby girl! I'm gonna call my, uh, basically close myself inside of a crystal to not take damage from that strafe. I know it was a little bit too, it was a little bit late, but whatever. Now it's gonna come the main part where, where we will be uh, like like a hundred percent counter to Vala and Hammer. Uh, of course, we have to get close to them uh, to to blind them with our blinding flash, but that's what it's gonna be. So at level one, we are just a cooldown when we hit somebody with our Q and, and with, you know, with the inside area of our Q. Now, if we hit them with that inside area of our Q, they're gonna be uh, blinded for quite a long time, for three seconds. So we just have to make sure that we are going to hit them with that. Hey. Uh, I am not with my team and this is my fault. Uh, my girlfriend just came and she was like, what's up? Uh, and I got distracted. I'm sorry, on my way team. Wait for me, team. I'm almost there, man. And this false death is a little bit of a pickle. Our Lunara dies. Now it's time for our false death, of our Xul, rather. God damn it, bro. It was my fault. It was my fault. But they shouldn't have engaged into that. As you can see that the whoever I was actually hit inside of that uh, you know, triangle was um, was blinded for a little bit. Right now our friendly team has a little bit of of trouble with the top lane. I'm gonna give actually I should have just gave it to fucking Chromico because she's dealing way more damage than that uh, the false it is right at the moment. I'm going in there. Let's go. God damn it, false dead. You can be doing so much more damage and you're not. Can we not split? Are they doing the, the boss? Don't tell me they're doing the boss, right? Oh my god, they're doing the boss. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, team! Team! No! Oh my god. I missed the heal! I missed the heal, I'm so bad. Ah, there's the blind, so uh, so they won't be able to do too much, do too much damage to us. Uh, and she almost died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Heal! Heal them friendlies! Yes, a blind die hammer. Fuck you, Alarak. Oh no, that zig 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 zag Zagata. Where did she come from? No. God damn it. God damn it, team. We failed. I think it was only me, Lunara, and Chromie trying to um, trying to actually contest that boss. Which is what effed us. Yeah, go, Xul. You're gonna get her. Eventually, kill her! 
My god, they used like three fucking different ults on her and she's still not dead. Hammer is perfectly balanced, if you if you ask me. Is she, is she dead? Yeah, yeah man, she dead as fuck. Alright, let's kill that boss. Right, you, you deal damage and then I'll be able to heal you. That's, that's, that's a good deal, right? I think that's a great deal. Oh, fucking shit, she's dead. I'm gonna close her inside of that. And then actually save her. So it's done. See what I mean? So it's done. Right, Chromie's gonna deal some amazing damage. She just filled up my bar basically instantly. Right, if you wanna come in here, it's just fine. I've got that blind for you, it's waiting for you. Right, so this is more of the co more of the competitive build, which is kind of like uh, that the relies on the blind. So if the enemy team has like an Illidan, Vala, uh, I don't know, Rainer or Hammer, Alarak, you just go straight away for that build. Even even just one of those character, you know, characters is, is, is good for you. Uh, Xul again splitting up for no apparent reason. Uh, Ziggy Zigzag Zagara is right there, and you. I just over because there's a stun on the enemy. Alarak is gonna secure a kill on him. Fuck you, Alarak. Uh, on the sub range, we are going to go for ability power just because I keep my um, I keep my bestow hope on Chromie. She'll be able to deal 10% uh, more uh, ability power on uh, when she has her bestow hope on me. Look, just look, she's just chunking that. Um, Here's a Crystal Aegis, they just aggroed the boss, she's going to be dealing massive damage to them. Oh shit! Don't do it, alright, let's, let's just back it up, there's no reason to, to stay. They're gonna, they aggroed the boss, so, oh shit. That was good, that was good, Lunara just went right into that poison. Alright, let's just back it up. Lunara? Can we back it? Oh my god. Wait, how did she go over this terrain? Wasn't she? Oh, there's a gap there! I play this game sometimes. <laughs> right. I thought that, that that was impossible terrain. That's why I, uh, I was that's why I was so surprised when she passed that terrain. Uh, the friendly Chromie not going for... Oh my god, there we go. Kill that bitch! Yum! Oh my god, she gets resistant when, she, when she's on the creep. That's why she didn't die. Now our Alarak, now our, actually their Alarak is gonna just wreck our Zul, and our Chromie is in a little bit of trouble. She's gonna get a couple of um, skill shots here on the enemy Alarak. She, she, she's getting some, uh, actually plenty of them on, on them. Uh, here's another ballsy fly by our false dead. Dude, this guy is the MVP of this game, goddamn. At the beginning he was dealing no damage, and now he's just like ballsy flies for days. Now they're, now they're doing the boss. I'm on my way, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do anything. It looks like they, they, they're just gonna bail on it. Uh, our Ziggy Zigzag Zagara is right here. Actually, not ours, but theirs instead. I'm dead. God, I missed. I'm gonna die. I play sometimes. I, I swear, I play sometimes. Let's, <laughs> let's get our head in the game. Boss is going downstairs. Uh, there's actually three camps going downstairs. That's a huge push we have to uh, we have to withdraw. I don't give a shit. This is a third game we're recording. I'm I, I'm posting this. We have to win this. Our Chromie is good. Our Chromie is definitely super good. Um, it's just our Xul that keeps overextending. That's no, did, did Arrow Nara go for Nature's Calling? Please tell me. Why didn't you go for Nature's Calling? You, you would have been able to deal so well with those bosses, man. God damn it, I just don't understand those Lunaras, bro. Alright, go Chromie. Deal some damage for me, bro. Oh god, this medic is so overextended like right there. Oh god, oh god, this is bad. Right, there's some... Um, you gonna? We need, we need to defend. Our Xul died to fucking minions. <laughs> this is just too funny. Hi, right, there you go, come. Have some healing. God damn it! Right, the enemy team is gonna pick up that nuke. Uh, 
or they just don't see it at all. I guess they just don't see it. Or they baiting it. Did some next level plays right there. They're baiting that nuke. Seems right. No, I actually they, they picked it up, so it's fine. Right. Uh, I'm gonna get this. Uh, we have to get rid of her creep. Oh, actually, it's not her creep. That's her fucking uh, mo not mob, but what's it called? Uh, Nidus Network. That's what it is. Uh, on this level, I'm gonna go for Shield of Hope. Basically, this is going to to um, grant a shield to my to all allies around me based on their health. So it's gonna be 50% of their missing health that they're gonna get uh, shielded by. You know, it, it's very situational, so my team has to be very low for me to get a full uh, full value out of this. But still. Uh, actually, Morales is going middle right now. Uh, it's like, looks like Zagara was doing some... Actually, this Lunara is doing way more damage than the Chromia to that boss. So, actually, she, 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 she should have just... Um, of course, I may bestow hope on her. Oh shit, he's gonna engage, he's gonna engage. We gone, bitch! Alright, we have to focus on defending because we're dead if we don't. Oh my god, this guy is just gonna die. But I guess we're just gonna lose after before that happens. So you guys are... Um, you guys saw what happened. At the beginning, my false dead wasn't wasn't doing anything. I was right next to him, trying to give him, you know, trying to give him the healing, and he was dealing no damage to that Zagara. And then our team just didn't play together. Chromi, you did well. Not as good as my girlfriend, but still well. Right, we gotta get. Oh my fucking god! How much am I missing? Twelve thousand XD. Are you fucking stupid? I want to get that new skin tin. That looks sick of you know. Like, look at that. That looks so much better than the other, than the other, than this one. And whatever, we're gonna go over the build again. The build is the the more competitive build, which is kind of like a counter to uh, other attack heroes, which actually which are actually coming to the meta pretty quickly now. Elden Vala, you know, Vala is actually top tier right now. Um, so we go for Righteous Assault to decrease the cooldown of your Q whenever you hit uh, enemies inside of that you know in in that inside area. Uh, and that little triangle in front of you, that reverse triangle, you could say. On level 4, you go for Heavy Burden. Uh, basically, that is actually pretty huge because it's 3 seconds uh, three second, uh, slow for 40%, uh, which is pretty huge. It's almost as good as the, the Slowing Sands. Slowing Sands is 60%, up to 60%. Um, but, again, super good. So they, they take additional damage, they are stunned when they hit, you know, when they hit the wall, and now they're going to be slowed forty percent. Very good for like disengaging, but also securing kills. Uh, so level seven, I went for energized cord, but you want to go for empathic link. In competitive, it is actually quite normal that you're going to get a warrior, and empathic link on a warrior seems very good, just because it is also going to be generating you energy when your ally takes damage. This used to be twenty five percent, now it's twenty, just because it was way too good. Um, but um, when you don't have tanks, when you're playing, uh, when you're playing a quick match, you, I, um, I advise you to take Energize Court. Uh, I just feel like it's much better. The reduced cooldown on this is not that good, even though there were a couple situations where uh, if I had reduced cooldown, I would have been able to save our false dead or something like that. But again, in the big picture, uh, I think this allowed me to um, be a better asset to my team. Level 10, you want to go for Crystal Ages. Resurrect is just underwhelming. Um, it's just brings an allied hero back to life. It doesn't reset the you know the, the hero kill. It just um, just basically resets their um, their death timer, which is not that good up until like level twenty and and, and above. Um, on level thirteen, you want to go for blinding flash. Blinding flash. What it does, it blinds enemies um, on basically inside again in, inside of that inner area, uh, that triangular area, and that's gonna directly synergize with your level 1 talent, which is the you know, Righteous Assault. So you want to hit as many heroes inside of that inner area as possible to get, uh, you know, to get the half of your cooldown uh, down. And then, uh, you know, you will be also blinding them. Also, when you hit your heroes inside of that inner area, you'll be able to get more blind, more blinds out on the battlefield. On level 16, uh, I went for Wrath of Heaven just because our Chromie was 
I gave her the crown most of the time, so I want her. I wanted her to do more damage. These two are good. There was one more town which was removed because it was too good, and now it's kind of like underwhelming. Like level sixteen on Aria is kind of underwhelming. When you have auto attack heroes, you go for the auto attack speed. When you have ability heroes, you go for the uh, ability power. When you have mixed heroes and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you probably go for a reservoir of hope. Um, what is what is going to do when you heal some? When you use your energy when it's maxed out, you're going to be increasing its limit. Um, up by 75%. Uh, so, in theory, this is good, but then later on, it's going to actually be much harder for you to fill in the energy as you know, as it, its limit has been incre increased by so much. And on level 20, um, you can go for Shield of Hope, but actually, Angelic Flight is not bad, bad at all. Uh, I thought it was trash just because, you know, it's kind of like a false dead fly at level 20, but on, on, ma on maps like the Forehead Junction, or the uh, dragon, uh, the Dragonshire, or you know, on some other, or uh, actually the, the newest map, the Braxis Holdout. The Angelic Flight is super good just because you can, you know, you can actually teleport to an area, which is uh, which is quite far. But Shield of Hope is going to be your support uh, talent to go. Again, giving uh, allies shield for three seconds. That is fifty percent of their missing health. So you don't want to be using it as a storm shield, you want to be more like, you know, your team is losing a fight, okay, they're all low, okay, let's activate their shield of hope. That's how you want to be playing it. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, slap that like rating. Uh, if you didn't, you know what to do. You know, slap that dislike rating and tell me what you didn't like about it. Uh, probably the sucky teammates that I had. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. The next one is going to be Gujian. So... I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye!